Adventure Outdoor Channel. I was wanting to do a review on the new canoe Frontier 12. Uh, I bought it about a year ago and I hadn't really done much with it, but I finally got around and got the motor and, and the trolling motor for it. Uh, when I bought it, I originally was wanting to just, you know, something for hunting and uh, decided to do try both in it. And uh, I couldn't find anything on having, you know, I knew it could handle two motors, but the performance of it. So I was wanting to do a review on it and kind of show you how I got it rigged. All right, I'll start here in the front. I got the Minn Kota Power Drive, 55 pound thrust. It was originally, I think, a 54 inch shaft. Uh, I cut it down. I should have did a video on it. It was fairly easy. Um, I'm going to be wiring it to the rear for a battery but for right now since I got the motor on the back then I took the container out of here and the battery slides right down in there and it worked out pretty good uh, as you work your way back I had a Garmin on it uh, I took that off I'm getting another Garmin uh, it's on order but the dashboard here can hold two two Plano 3700s uh, I got fishing rod holder here just so if I'm retiring or whatever I can put it in there and, and it works out good I, I'm not fumbling it around I also when I take my son I put a stool up here and he sits on it I might eventually get another seat but I might be just doing gonna be using this for hunting because I'm thinking about getting another kayak. I'm actually starting to enjoy it. Got the seat. Um, but I was going to run the battery back here. But I figured I'd keep it up front right now with the motor on the back. If you come to the rear, it's got the Mercury 2.5. <clears throat> I use a, the extended handle. And it works out pretty good. I was worried about the fishing rod being in the way but when you're going you don't it doesn't take much to turn it so it works out all right as far as right here it come with two kill switches so i stuck them together and that can reach all the way up to, to me and i can put it around my wrist uh i put this rope on it so i can start it from sitting in the seat and then here I got this rod that was for a camper pulling the awning down on a camper and it works pretty good coming back you know reaching around and putting it in gear and shoving it out of gear I might rig something up uh, I've been thinking about rigging something up with a pulley system to be able to pull it back and forth but we'll see if that you know will work and then shutting it off, I use that rod also to shut it off. And transporting it, you know, obviously that I take this off and I put it in the bed of the truck. This comes off like that, take it off, put it in the truck. You don't want this bouncing going down the road because these are just plastic, but they're fairly sturdy. I was surprised on how stable it is. It takes a little getting used to, but it works. And then on the trailer, I was originally going to put it in the center. And I thought, well, that's just kind of wasted space. And uh, ended up moving it over to the one side. These tracks work good. You'll see in the video on, on loading it and unloading it. And that way I, I leave this open for containers and coolers for when I go camping because I don't want to leave them at the boat ramp get to camp and take them off you know and whatever and then backing down I mean you back down get the rear underwater come back and you push it off deploy the trolling motor drive it out a little ways hit spot lock go park the truck walk back to the dock bring it over to you get in and go so hope you enjoy the rest of the video uh, probably maybe do a catch cook
like that. We'll cast it. I think we can. We could camp. I'm so tired. So tired. I'm tired? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll fish our way out of here. One fish is, if we don't catch one on the way out, it's fine. We, we just have a fillet. <laughs> huh. Uh-huh. Mom, shark, get out! Shark? We got a shark? Uh, move, move backwards! Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Quit, don't cry. Ooh, he's got a broken lip. Out for the camp. It's all right. Guess he won't be a little cranky buck tonight. That's the beach? Yeah. We all got pee. I gotta pee too. You're gonna have to wait. We're almost to the dock. Here's the fish I caught yesterday. Show you how I clean them and then we'll take them in the house and cook them up. Usually, if I'm cleaning crappie, like the whole mess of them, oh. Use an electric knife just to save time. With the bass, because they're
only three of them, I use a, a fly knife. Just like that, nice play. Turn it over, do the same thing on this side. And take the skin off. Bring it right there. Put it down. Nice play. And you get a few pin bones right here. Alright, I'll finish these up and then I'll see you in the kitchen. Alright, I cut these up into uh, smaller pieces. That way it's easy to cook. Now this is some Everglades with the new MSG. People are going to say you shouldn't keep bass, but bass actually tastes really good. It's a nice, firm meat. <clears throat> and uh, Oklahoma just raised their, this year, their limit to six because of the, some of the lakes are getting hurt by nobody keeping out the fish. They're getting overpopulated. <clears throat> Get the butter going. Gold garlic herb, some really good butter. Stop the burning. Everglades, and I've been using that since I was a little kid. I grew up down in South Florida, and that's about all I ever use. Grocery stores don't sell it here, so I gotta order it online. Here's one that was made in a bell, a swamp cabbage. That's where they have the swamp cabbage festival every year. some kind of a screen or something that can keep them off the paper towel where they drain, uh, it stops them from getting soggy. Especially if you're doing something with bread fried. Makes all the difference in the world. All right, my little taste tester fell asleep on me. So, I'm gonna 
eat ones I made for me because I put Everglades heat on them. It's good. I don't eat a whole lot of bass, but it's probably one of my favorite fish to eat. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on the new canoe, Frontier 12, on any of that, uh, just leave a comment or whatever. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'm out.